Hey, what's up guys? My name is Axidroid and welcome back to another video. And this one is pretty special because this is my first episode of my new, you know, kind of mini build, uh, building series that I have. Uh, just as Felucia is going to be a smaller series, but it's going to be my first Indiana Jones mock. So for some people probably already know that I'm making this mock if they've seen my previous video. But um, actually, this is a part of an Indiana Jones collaboration for Brick Fair Virginia, which I'm very excited for. You know, it has multiple of my friends, new friends and old friends in this collaboration. And I have some plans to show you guys, you know, of what I actually want to build. And I actually also have some progress and some very interesting stuff. Like I'm trying a lot new techniques in this mock and I'm very excited for it. And I can't wait for people to see it, you know, in real life at conventions and online on YouTube, of course. And, uh, you know, just a little spoiler, there's going to be some motors in this uh, episode, which is cool. I'm so happy to, you know, finally try something like that. But before we do anything, please, I would really encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Leave a like down below and leave a comment down below. It really helps out a lot. You know, it really, you know, gets my video on the right side of, you know, people's YouTube page and just recommends my channel to new people. And it's always nice to have new people and we're really trying to get that 10K subscriber goal, which is awesome. But, you know, that's that. And let's get to the plans of the mock. So here we have the plans for the mock. It's going to be from Indiana Jones, the third movie, The Last Crusade, and it's called The Venice Boat Chase. I'm very excited for this mock. It's a very colorful mock. And you know, I hope you guys you know recognize the scene. I'll play a little clip of it, and I hope you guys you know find that scene very recognizable since it really is to me. It's very recognizable. It's very colorful, and I you know recognize it from the video game as well, which I love. I actually really want to replay that. But obviously, we have two boats of them. We have um, you know Indy and Elsa you know fighting one of the um, one of the guys with the fizz hats. I think this guy is called uh, Kazim, I think, and he's shooting and I'll have, you know, shooting lights and stuff. We'll, we'll have, I'm going to have the boats moving up and down. We're going to have this rotor, uh, you know, spinning. You know, these are all recognizable things about the movie. Here we have the little bit uh, of, you know, cafe with some you know, chairs and some tables. And here's the manhole they climb out of. And I really want to include that scene because that's, you know, how the whole boat chase scene even starts. We have a very recognizable bridge, you know, where they move over from uh, one of the scenes whenever they actually, you know, come to Venice. We have these very recognizable, you know, um, I know, like white and blue uh, sticks that stick out of the water. And we have a you know, little boat there as well. But, you know, before I show you the whole mock, I want to show you guys uh, this little blueprint of what I want to be, uh, want to move. So we, here we have a battery motor, which have a long technique axle, and then it will be spinning um two of the boats of course and it'll, it'll just be a pin that will go up and down and that makes it look like the boat is rocking up and down and then we have the rotor here as well of the boat so that's pretty much it for the plants and i'm very happy that i actually colored it in and you know made a full plan of it and i love doing this because it really gives me an idea what i want to do with the mock so before i you know show the progress of the whole mock i want to show you guys a little technique that i'm going to use for the water so here we have the water net technique. I'm so glad I decided to go for this one. Uh, you know, he uses these um, you know net pieces. Then he has um, two of the studs in between one of the wires. So it's I should actually just grab some of them. So here you guys can see how it works, and that way it just sticks uh, together. You know, it's very flexible. That's what I want because I want that you know sudden slight movement in the water it's not going to be waves of course because venice doesn't have waves but it's going to be very mo slight movement and it's going to look really cool and i have ordered 50 of these nets so i can't wait for them to come in it's gonna take a while so the water is probably one of the last things that you'll see you know being finished after you know this whole mock right here so uh you know i tried some of these back plates as well and i think you know in dark blue got some i think medium azure or something sand green because i just have a lot of these in plates and then i tried these blue ones as well and i think the blue ones work the best i think this one is a little bit too tropic and kind of for like maybe for you know at the beach or something but this isn't at the beach i think the blue one works best like i like it and it's a very cheap color to buy so i bought like five thousand of them because i'll need them a lot of them so that's pretty much it for the water technique very glad i have decided to go for something more intricate instead of just having them you know very just on a base plate just plate them up 
So that's pretty much it. So right now I'll show you guys the full mock. And here we have the two gray base plates. And this is how big the mock is going to be. I think it's a good size. It get, you know, captures all of the areas pretty well. So here we have the water technique. It will be lining up to this, you know, nice border. And, you know, it will be very cool to have you know, this on a big scale. Here we have two of these, you know, just prototype for the boat just nothing special but as you guys can see there's a whole technic structure down here and this is what i'm actually going to motorize you've seen the plants before but you know you just spin this and then everything spins at the same time you know using these gears to have the 90 degree angle which really works out well i'll probably put this one on an angle so it's not all you know straight straight and this will be all under the water of course and this will make the um you know either the waves will go up and down you know, obviously it doesn't work like this because it's not stuck to anything or i'll just leave a gap in the water and then the boat will you know just have this i know pin going up and down and then it will look like the boat is actually like rocking up and you know going fast in the water and then here we have where the bridge is going to be this is where the you know the battery pack and the motor is going to be hidden under all of this you know this little structure that will have um you know the seats and the tables and the manhole and then this will be the bridge to just another little area where i can just you know put some more easter eggs or something like that so this is you know what it's looking like so right now i'll show you guys the package of the motors so here we have a little package uh, with some motors so we have a lot of stuff i actually got this for all for 50 percent off which is great because they're just so expensive to begin with but we have two motors because they were cheap enough and you know maybe i'll need two motors so we'll have to see there's two motors that can connect to this hub and these are actually from the powered up um you know line which is a newer line that is also a new technique set but this is one is you know controlled by bluetooth so i can just use my phone app to control the speed and you know, program stuff and uh you know it's just the newer stuff so I, i'll just you know keep up with the more recent stuff so let me just try to figure out this out on my own and then i'll show you guys how it works with the structure here so here guys we have the setup and i actually have some bad news because i'm not really happy with the product right now and i'll show you guys why right now but first i should show you guys how it works so i'm just using this random you know it's the app for it and uh you know it works all perfectly you know it all spins i can reverse it as well or make it go fast whatever but the thing is i want to display this at conventions and i want to have it running the whole time but i cannot have it running like for example I, I cannot have it running and turn off my iPad or my phone since I'll be just having my I have to keep it on the app for like hours on end and that's just not realistic and I can't do that I just think it's such a flaw how Lego is such a big company and they can't even get this right for example with the power functions uh, version the older version you know with the orange buttons and stuff that one is just you know analog and you just can switch it on and leave it on but this one you need an app and you cannot close it uh you know i'll show you guys an example so you know they have these presets but i think like i just know this one works because you can have it you know stayed on whatever so let's see so it has this weird you know stuff but i know right now you know it's on it's spinning but whenever i turn it off no that turns off as well so it needs to have the app which i think is such a huge flaw so i'll i will be sending these back and i guess getting the older version from bricklink which is a decent price i mean i got this one for pretty cheap for the market value but like this is such a bad thing for conventions like i cannot have some app just open for like five days on uh, that's just so unrealistic and i'm kind of bummed out because I mean you can't expect lego to have some good product with these motors and stuff but they're just so inconvenient you know there's a lot of you know things you need to step around you know it's like their solution where you have to like code stuff and stuff, and stuff like that so it's not really consumer friendly which is kind of unfortunate since i had some i thought i had something going here but, but i guess i guess not so i'll probably have to you know look into the other you know the older ones and see if i can just use those so again yeah, that's kind of bummer you know <laughs> we're kind of ending on a bummer but i guess you know i am pretty happy that it works and you know um you know all the technique stuff works here and i guess i'll just have to replace the motor but i still have time for that so uh, you know um 
that's pretty much it i still also bought an another one so i'm gonna just you know send it back but that's pretty much it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this episode um you know we're definitely i'm definitely very excited to finish this mug this one will definitely be a mug that i'll be able to finish a little bit faster than some of the other mugs i'm going to make so thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like subscribe leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys in my next video